Ah yes, 2020, the year we'd love to all forget about. <laughs> Talking about January, I had another friend mess with my friends. We got together at my friend's apartment, which was a fun time. We had a sleepover. First time I had a sleepover in a while. It was a lot of fun. We opened presents. We stayed up and watched Christmas movies. It was a lot of fun. Probably the highlight to begin 2020 off. If you don't remember, because it feels like a lifetime ago, we had, um, you know, Copa to worry about that whole thing. You remember that also happened in January? Can't believe it. It feels like a lifetime ago. It feels like another year. When I was younger, probably like elementary school, middle school, I was really into acrylic painting. And this year, I started to get back into it. I started, I bought a sketchbook in March. But before that, I was making little mini things here and there. I was really getting back into acrylic painting and just experimenting and getting back into the flow of it. And then in March, I had bought a predominantly acrylic sketchbook so I could just do acrylic, pa acrylic paintings in them. That happened in March. Obviously, most of us were tracking the virus in like January and February because my, par my parents decided to go to, on a week-long vacation to Arizona. Had I known what I know now, I would have gone with them and I didn't go, wish I had. But during that week, I did this challenge, the 100 art pieces in a week challenge. I moved my grandpa into his assistant living place and then not even a week later, everything was shut down. We were supposed to go visit him one day. Everything was shut down because the virus. It's really sad to say, but more people were freaking out back in March and April than they are now when things are a lot more serious. The thing that happened in March was I sold my first piece of artwork ever. I opened commissions in March and no one, I only had one commissioner, which is a little sad, but it's fine. I had an old piece of oil pastel that I had done in 2018 and someone on Instagram messaged me and said, hey, is this for sale? It was so surreal to see someone want my art. It was a very surreal experience. I also started watching Clone Wars in March. April, not a whole lot happened in April. I was just doing more acrylic paintings here and there. I think that's when season four of My Hero Academia wrapped up. So I made my first ever anime video on my channel. It was also one year ago um, that we got Avengers Endgame. So I did a digital piece for Endgame. And really this year, not only did I work on my acrylic and watercolor skills, I still have a lot to learn, but I also really trudged forward with digital art. I've always been a traditional person at heart. For a while there this year, I was mainly just digital art. I found a like a line art brush and a coloring style and a shading style that I love so much. It's very like rough and not refined and very messy. That's the art that I like to produce myself. Like I did experiment here and there throughout the year and tried new styles there for a while, but I've now since then gone back to that style that I had in April and May. May, on May 4th, Star Wars Day, Stephanie Meyer announced that Midnight Sun would finally be coming out. Asked we were gonna be getting Midnight Sun after 12 years. 12 years away. I waited 11 years. And so that happened in May. Not only that, but we also got the announcement that Percy Jackson was gonna get a TV show on Disney Plus. This, this book, this entire series, Percy Jackson is becoming a Disney Plus TV show. Like 12 year old me, who got into Percy Jackson and Twilight at the same time was like screaming on the inside. Even 23 year old me or 22 year old me at the time was screaming on the inside. But something did happen at the end of May. On May 25th, a man by the name of George Floyd was murdered. This led to protesting, peaceful protesting, mind you. I have always been told to respect people of different races, people of different genders, and I've tried to preach that and I've tried to live by that. I am an ally, I am a supporter of the Black Lives Matter movement. Going forward in society and in our world, we need to talk about this. I've done some readings here and there about my privilege and it's very uncomfortable to read about, but it's something that needs to be talked about and something that needs to be discussed. Not a whole lot happened in June. I mean, I did participate in my fourth annual ever Chalk Fest. However, it was virtual this year because of the virus. To see a thing like Chalk Fest that brings so many people together and it brings the community together and it shows 
people's artwork off and it shows you working on it and you can ask people questions right there and then. I know it's a health concern because you don't want to get all these people infected. This year I decided, I decided this last year that I was going to do recreate one of my grandmother's paintings because my grandma was an avid painter with both oil and acrylic paint and I decided I wanted to take one of her paintings and do that as a homage to her and I think it turned out amazing time I was working on my own time there was no one there watching me so there were some pros but I will say I do miss the getting to walk around and see everyone else working on their pieces I'm hoping that next year it is in person also in June we took a little we had a little day trip me and my mom and my sister where we went to this park to see this new bridge and it was a really fun event I also vlogged that I really did a lot more vlogging this year because of staying at home a lot more my vlogs seemed a bit more homey and I felt like they were better done, edited this year. I mean, that's to myself, my credit. I mean, I did watch a lot of vlogs this year as well to help me get better at editing my vlogs. I put out more videos this year than I did any other year, but I also put out more vlogs this year and you guys seem to not mind them, so that was a plus. July was also another pretty, I'd say, entertaining, fun month. I finally got together with my friends again after six months of us not seeing each other. So my friend Taylor, she graduated from college, so that was a huge thing that she accomplished in 2020. We all wore masks while we were in our house and then when we went outside and we were around the campfire, we mostly just social distanced. I learned especially this year with all of the things that each one of us have gone through that we together that we really rely on each other and that we make each other's lives better. I love my friends a lot, but I've really come to love them even more this year with everything that we have been through. To a wedding in July, it was social distance. We all wore masks. They had a lot of things put into place to like precautions, restrictions, regulations. I mean, it's just hard for me to be in a social situation because I don't know what to talk about. They asked me the questions like, what are you doing right now? Where are you going to school? Like. Etc. I I'm doing neither of those things, so I don't know what you want, for, especially this year. I'm just getting through the day. If that's not good enough, I don't know what you want from me. July also brought us the Netflix Transformers show. Taylor Swift dropped her first of two albums this year. She dropped Folklore. When she released Folklore, I was very on board with it because I loved the aesthetic it had, the like folklory, woodsy, enchanted type of like. Feel. I love folklore so much. I listen to it religiously on repeat for so many months. I still listen to it repeated. Obviously, August was both a bittersweet month, but also a really good month. It's August 4th, Midnight Sun came out. I went to go get it. I loved it. Oh my god, it's so cute to say have it. Oh my god. I'm freaking out. Oh my god. <laughs> I read it, I really enjoyed it. This was the year of Twilight Renaissance, I feel. My vlog of going to get Midnight Sun, my most viewed public video ever. And so I'll link that in the description. It's one of my favorite videos that I made this year because it's just, it's just me being like, I don't give two Fs if you don't like Twilight. I'm a Twilight lover, deal with it. And in August, I also got my first ever art commission. So that was a very interesting and fun experience to do. I turned 23 this year, got into a little bit of an accident. My car got sucked down a hill. I was backing up, couldn't really see very well. Should have had one of my friends get out and be a spotter. For and my car went down the little ditch. It was a lesson learned. My local movie theater opened up back again because obviously they, in March they closed. Yes, and I went to go see the first two Harry Potters in theaters, so that was an exciting thing. And then tragedy struck. This was a big shock to I think a lot of us, both Marvel fans and just people in general. It was late at night and I come back downstairs and my mom is shocked and she's like, I don't wanna tell you this. And she showed me the article and I just started bawling. We lost Chadwick Boseman at the end of August. We found out that he had a form of cancer. I could not fathom that he was gone. Rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. Wakanda forever. September, Sean Hawkins, the voice actor of Mirage in Netflix's Transformers War for Cybertron, asked me and a bunch of other Transformers artists if we wanted to be a part of his little fan art challenge and draw pictures of his character Mirage that he voiced and he would post them on his Instagram stories. This one was like a really cool opportunity. The fact that he liked a bunch of my art and is now following me. It's, it's insane. My friend will him and his girlfriend they 
had a baby shower because in October they had a baby but we had a baby shower for them and it was a really I think a really fun just a little baby shower just us friends getting together September we also went to Willow River October was just a pretty chill month the last ever Percy Jackson book came out this series means a lot to me just like with Twilight Percy Jackson shaped my middle school and my high school experiences because I read the first Percy Jackson book. I started reading the series when I was 12 and Percy was 12. And so a lot of the things that Percy was going through, I was going through as well. And so I could relate to Percy. So those books really shaped me really shaped my love of mythology, my love of storytelling. I finally reached 300 subs here on YouTube, which was amazing. Season two of Mandalorian, and oh my God, what a fantastic season two The Mandalorian was. Unfortunately, also in October, my movie theater closed down again, and it's really made me upset, but it's also made me appreciate movie theaters. The fact of how beautiful a movie can be on a big screen versus a small screen. Now we get into November. November was a very stressful month, as on November 3rd was the election. To the two weeks leading up to the election, I was an emotional mess. It was a very scary time. Four days after the election, we knew the result through a fair and just trial or election is Biden. He is our current, he is our new president. Through a fair and not fraudulent election, Biden won. So Biden won and inauguration day, I cannot wait. Obviously this year, my family made the executive decision to not have a Thanksgiving and just have a Thanksgiving at home with just the four of us. December, December was like August. It started off and like May, it started off really good and then it just went downhill from I think it was earlier on this year, I had been doing more acrylic paintings here and there. My parents gave me the suggestion of maybe you should take all of these paintings and maybe make a calendar. Genius. So that's what I did. So I took all of my acrylic paintings and I had done, I decided to do a theme so every month had a theme like Obviously December was like Christmas, October would be leaves, July would be fireworks, August would be a beach, and I turned it into a calendar. And I decided, hey, I don't have a job right now. I wanna make some money, cause I got loans to pay. Why don't I make a bunch of these and sell them? So I sold and made a bunch of months. Not a lot, but for someone that isn't working, who has been trying to get a job for a long time, this is a good thing. So not only did I get my first commission and I sold a piece of artwork, I also made a calendar. And to see my artwork on a physical like product, not just on a piece of paper, is really a very surreal thing to see. You don't really know what it's like until you've had it happen to you. And it's just a very surreal thing. My art just, I think this was the year of art. So I never grew up with Avatar The Last Airbender. My friends have been like telling me to watch it for the longest time. It came on Netflix this year and I was like, this is my time, this is a sign. And I can say with certainty now, I have finished season one of Avatar. I am five episodes into season two. I am really enjoying this show so far and I can't wait to watch more because it's so entertaining and Taylor Swift decided you know what oh let me give you another album so Taylor Swift on December 10th dropped another album this woman it's called Evermore it is amazing my favorite song probably on that album is nobody no crime it's really good I can't with her and then to wrap up the year I became a part of that statistic or that number of people that have lost someone to the virus. On December 19th, we got a notification from the care facility that my grandpa was staying in that he had the virus. They didn't think he was going to probably make it. As the days progressed, he kept getting worse and was deteriorating. I knew that he wasn't going to probably make it. I knew in my head that he wasn't going to make it. I was preparing myself for before the year was over to lose him. Two days before Christmas, on December 23rd, my grandfather passed away from the virus. That evening, when they did local nightly news and they talked about the deaths that happened in the county next to us, because we don't live in the same county, we live like 
30 minutes away. There was had only been one death that occurred that day and that was him. He's now a number. He is now a number in the ever-growing list of people who have passed away from the virus. It's really put a lot into perspective, especially with now that I have no grandparents. But when I see all those people being like, it's not real, it's fake, it's just a thing made by Democrats. I see these people not social distancing. I see all these celebrities like the fucking Kardashians flying to their private island while people are dying. It does my head in and it just makes me angry. There have been some highs and there have sure been some lows this year for me. There were some good things that happened this year. We got Midnight Sun. I watched Haikyuu. I got into more Star Wars stuff. I got better at acrylic painting. I sold artwork. I made money off my artwork. I got better at digital art. Like I did, we did more like small nature day trips. I got to hang out with my friends a lot, a, little, a lot more than we normally have, but it was safer. It was the year of me reaching 2,000 followers on Instagram, but it was also the year of me being more confident in my appearance and in myself and just trying to be positive about what I looked like. It was me taking pictures of the sky, loving photography again, just enjoying the little moments that I got to spend with my friends and not taking them for granted during this trying time. It was just me being me and enjoying the little things that life had to offer us during this challenging, very troubling time that we are still in at this moment. And then there were negative things like the pandemic, all the like election stuff. We did get a new president, which is amazing. I love that. We have our first ever female vice president. We have not been able to see our family members as much. I think we need to take a look at our society and realize there's a lot of things wrong and corrupt in every aspect of our society that we need to change and make better. I don't really have that many goals for 2021. I mean, to get better at acrylics, to get better at watercolor, to just keep on getting better with my art, maybe get more commissions next year. Get better at art is the biggest thing I have because I don't really know what else next year holds. Do have the vaccine. When it's available for people like me, I will get the vaccine. You can bet your ass on that. Now, this year was full of ups and downs, and I think this year has really resonated and really, it will be one for the history books, I can tell you that. I have hope for 2021, but I'm keeping it more in the down low because I just don't know. But I know my goals of getting better at art I'm going to do my very best to make those goals come true. And hopefully when I look back on 2021, it was a better-ish, slightly better year than 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a somewhat okay-ish 2020. I know it wasn't the year we were expecting. Trust me, it was not the year I was expecting either. I think we've learned a lot as a society. I think we're going to continue to grow as a society and hopefully make changes, necessary changes. And with the new person in charge of the United States. I have faith. We'll, we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys with brand new content in 2021. Social distance, wear your mask, stay home as much as possible and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.